it's Jen from Winrose Fiber Studio. I just got back from a week in Lima, Peru. While there, I was on the hunt for yarn and I did come home with a few goodies and I thought I'd share them with you today. The first yarn I'm going to show you is from a little shop called Teher is Cool. It felt like they were trying to hide this yarn shop from me because I went to the address and there was no yarn shop in sight. On a whim, I decided to wander into a store called Mundo Alpaca that was right at the same location, and it turned out that Teher School was in the back of this shop. So if you're looking for the store like I was, go into Mundo Alpaca and walk all the way to the back. Now this was a small yarn shop with a very select collection, and at first I was really struggling to pick something out because I didn't really have a project in mind, and sometimes it can be really hard to choose yarn if you don't have a purpose. But then I looked down and there were baskets of natural wool and alpaca blend yarn in this beautiful boucle, and I knew I had found my yarn from this shop. I kind of think it's rare to see boucles like this anymore, which really makes me sad because so often I'm looking for yarn with a little bit of texture to just really add to a design. So to find this and have it be all natural and beautiful, I was really pleased. So I bought two skeins. The total price was $23.60 or 90 Peruvian soles. I feel like you would easily spend that much on just one skein here in the States, so I felt like that was a really wonderful price. Let me give you the details. This yarn is called Monica. It's made by Mitchell. It's 70% wool and 30% alpaca, and it comes in 100 gram skeins, giving you 80 beautiful meters of this luscious yarn. The next yarn I'm going to show you came from the Inca market. If I'm being totally honest, I almost didn't buy this yarn. I was there shopping for textiles, and all of their yarn was packaged in these plastic bags. The colors were beautiful, but you couldn't feel the yarn, and it was hard to read the details on the yarn labels. I had decided that maybe I would just look elsewhere for my yarn. Then, after making a few purchases in one woman's little stall, she saw me look at the yarn, so she put on her sales cap and she was really going for it with me. I was telling her in my very poor Spanish that I was just shopping for gifts for my family. She kept bringing the price down until she got to a number so low, I said yes. <laughs> so I purchased these 10 skeins for $13.11 or the equivalent of 50 soles. The yarn itself is very soft and I would describe it as a DK weight. Each 50 gram ball is 124 yards or 113 meters. And I don't know if it shows up well on the video, but it has a really pretty sheen or luster to it. Truly, I'm pinching myself 1,240 yards of 100% alpaca yarn for just $13. Pretty amazing. I finally encountered the yarn wall of my dreams in an artist collective in Barranco called Dedalo. My eyes just sort of gravitated to this variegated skein and I'm so glad they did. This is Yana Journeys by Amano. It's 100% fine highland wool made in Peru and I love what the tag says on the back. Yana takes us on a journey with a special edition yarn with hand-painted colors that echo our vibrant Andean and Peruvian identity, available in seven different colorways. These all speak to the rich diversity of our landscapes, all painted on our favorite and softest roving yarn. So if that doesn't sound inviting, I don't know what does. The skein is 200 grams, 160 meters, 175 yards. So that's a very generous amount of yarn. By itself, it was 100 soles and worth every centimos in US dollars. That's $26.22, and I think very much worth it. This is very luxurious feeling, and I just think these colors are gorgeous. I guess I haven't mentioned the weight. It's definitely a bulky weight singles yarn. 
I think these colors also appeal to me because they're very much the colors of the Arizona desert. And the blues kind of remind me of being on the Pacific Ocean down in Lima, Peru. So all of these colors are just very heartwarming. There was no way I could stop at just one skein, so I picked up these two skeins of a complementary color, thinking maybe I could work with these together in the future. This is 70% baby alpaca and 30% merino wool. It's ridiculously soft. The color is so saturated. This one is more of a medium weight, but I could carry two strands if I wanted to work with it together with this singles bulky yarn. This one is also by Amano. It's called Warmi, which in the Quechua means woman or union. The color is inspired by local fruits and flowers. Each of these skeins is 100 grams. That gives you 150 meters or 164 yards each, a very generous amount of yarn. These two skeins were 90 soles, so that's another $23.60 for both of the skeins. When you think about the content, baby alpaca and merino, I think those prices are still just, you couldn't ask for better. I love how all the yarn I purchased is looking together. It might be fun to challenge myself to come up with a project that uses all of these yarns, or maybe I'll just wait for the perfect project to come along for each individual one. I hope you enjoyed this video. I was really looking for something like this before I left for Lima, so if you're planning a trip to Lima, Peru, I've given you at least three places to search for your yarn. In the description, I've included the addresses of all the places where I did my yarn shopping and websites when they had them. I also bought textiles while I was in Lima, and I will share those in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. For now, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.